Thanks for having us this morning. Oh, clicker. That's what we need. <laughs> <laughs> something. All right, let's go. Okay, so uh, the ambition for the project is for innovation to be facilitated through built form. Um, to make a place that connects the right people together at the right time. And so our concept evolved around the creation of a, a central town square or a, a meeting place, like a, a mini city with a heart. The core urban challenge was how to make the big buildings, oops, sorry, wrong one, big buildings on a dense site, intimate and engaging. We conceptualise the project from the inside out, where the central green space gives order to the project and connects the height and program of the site vertically, and where external um, spaces engage with the external, where public and private merge and connect people and place. And the superfloor is the internal elevated town square, and it follows the geometry of the open space, tracking the sun throughout the day. Four different laneways draw the Carlton context through from the street edges, prioritising human comfort and experience to drive the form and program of the master plan. The centre is a connected and entirely accessible ground plane in one contiguous, clearly navigated realm. It pushes the building forms and the program to the street edges, clearing the middle of the, f clearing the middle to be full of fresh air and light. So it's located just off campus and it's over a half a city block in size. So our approach integrates a number of unconventional solutions that have challenged almost every aspect of the project. This would not have been possible without a united team of collaborators working together to make key decisions to embed innovative solutions into the design from the outset. Lendlease and the university have a unique 42 year lease deal and there's a huge mix of program and strong commercial drivers and outcomes. So the whole project is a finely balanced system with many operational parts. For the whole team, we're, we were invested in the design approach and many challenges were tackled collectively. Firstly, we were asked to respectfully reimagine the former Royal Women's Hospital. However, we challenged the brief by offering a better urban solution than what the orthogonal existing buildings could offer. We put forward the concept that Melbourne Connect could occupy the whole site. We asked everyone to consider the unique benefits of creating campus space in the centre of the site with through site connections that challenged the well established Carlton Street Grid. This resulted in the idea of a campus typology which is merged with the inner city grain of Carlton. Conceptually, the scheme reflects the grain, the scale, and the character of the surrounding neighbourhoods in its podium base transforming the typically low-scale residential vernacular into an abstract interpretation of podium and tower. We prized apart the base to make a protective external layer, and that allowed the internal ground plane to be as transparent and, and as porous as possible. And from within the site, all of the program spaces are visible from almost every angle all at once. The two levels of brick podium contain all the public zones, with the education and commercial towers forming above and are responsive to the human scale networks at ground. We've used the brickwork throughout the podium in a singular materiality with intricate and unexpected detailing and references to the university campus, with the brick modules creating moments of urban delight. The coloration of the brick podium is carried up through the tower facades with hundreds of sun shading hoods and prismatic glazed panels arranged around each one of the facades. The facades perform efficiently and effectively to reduce solar heat loading and reflectivity and the 3D surfaces create reflections and shadows with various levels of transparency. The smaller timber frame building is glue lamp columns and beams with CLT slabs, and it's a really important piece of the urban story. It's located in the northwestern laneway connection uh, that goes back to the university campus across Swanson Street. 
The modular construction technique is celebrated by leaving all of the internal timbers exposed and the beauty of the mass timber is a key part of the raw materiality of the wider precinct and a demonstration of the sustainability commitments of the project. The whole precinct system approach was crucial to the sustainability outcomes. It was recently awarded a six star green star rating for the entire precinct. The ground plane draws those four dynamic laneways together into a central open space and it's a green space. It's uh, soft and hard with the timber and it creates five separate building parts and these are merged together at the level one superfloor. The typical floor plates of a commercial building are over three and a half thousand square metres in size with edges that are eroded by the spaces below. Um, this site has a you know, complex and varied history as the Royal Women's Hospital and of course the lands of the traditional um, owners, the Wurundjeri people. So in consultation with the Wurundjeri, um, the laneways and the central oculus sorry, yeah, were named as part of honouring that history. And additionally to that, the um, 3AW tower you can see is marked here in brick and timber in the ground plane floor. And here's an image of it here as well. And other images before that was a previous hospital and this is outlined through plaques and other lighting elements within the ground plane um, for the first hospital arrangement as well. And we'll take you now just through showing you different things like laneways for people to stay and play. The life of the place has taken over now in the central space. Um, creation of um, nooks and crannies for people to stay and explore. Intentionally and unexpected delights are starting to occur with the growth in the light reflection. Materiality and volume is becoming very important. Buildings, elements as wayfinding throughout the entire precinct. Night transparency and safety is also critical. Vistas to the context um, are also part of the program. Playful expression and curated content and obviously streetscape engagement and the moments of delight and simple pleasures within the midst of the city. So as a cohesive project, Melbourne Connect contributes equally to the campus of the University of Melbourne and to the public realm of Carlton in which it sits.